We are now in uh, Busdorf. It's been almost 20 hours since we left uh, Rödekro. And uh, meanwhile, I've been running some high speed tests around here. And then I slept a little bit. And then I ran some more tests. Uh, and then slept some more. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, now we're gonna head back to Seipsborg where this car comes from. Yeah, and it's um, Bilbutik 1, Seipsborg. So, but we have to check out something. So you see, we have 50 kilowatt uh, DC fast chargers over there, but uh, I don't want to use them because um, they are somewhat slow compared to the, the Ionity chargers in Rode Crew. So I could charge there, but when I look here uh, at GOM, GOM says I have 52, uh, 52 um, kilometers of range left. And then um, according to uh, navigation, we are 71.5 kilometers away. So I'm like, uh, we don't have enough juice. So the navigation even told me that I will run out of juice. I have to charge up before I get there. But you know what? Don't trust GOM. I'll sh explain why. We have to look here. We have 28% state of charge. And if you do the math based on the state of charge, uh, I should be able to average 277 watt hour per kilometer and still arrive with 3% left. Uh, the reason why GOM is knocked out now is because I've been driving fast, like really fast on the autobahn. If you see here, um, <laughs> average consumption, 514 watt hour per kilometer. I was running 190 kilometers per hour speed test uh, to compare that with uh, Tesla Model X. So uh, I'm pretty confident that if I take it easy, I can't even try to draft behind some trucks with lots of trailers on the road, I mean lots of um, um, semis on the road over here. So I can draft behind them and see how efficient I can drive, yes. So I think we are ready. The trip should take uh, less than an hour, so let's roll. We have been driving for a little while. I use adaptive cruise control and uh, just tailgate this truck, right? And then, uh, according to trip meter, we have uh, travel uh, 10.7 kilometers, but we only consume three kilometers of range. Now, how is that possible? Well, I have to explain. You know, GOM stands for Gesometer. It estimates your range based on past consumption. And because I had so high consumption in the past, I did some high-speed runs. Then it will it will think that you consume massive amounts. Now, and then suddenly when you consume less energy, then it will recalculate. So uh, sometimes when you go downhill, it could even seem like you gain a lot of um, range, but it depends because it's just the, the, it's the gum that recalculates based on your new consumption. But uh, yeah, this is uh, going quite well. We haven't had this low consumption ever this trip. 212 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> it's still fairly high if compared to, let's like, say, Kona or Nero or even a Tesla, but um, yeah. So we have 25% state of charge. Um, I could just, you know, let's just um, wait and see until we see that we can make it, then we hammer it. <laughs> We are now in uh, Rödekro, yeah, the green place. <laughs> yeah, as it says, battery low. Uh, it, it comes at 10%. Okay, I can clear that one. At least uh, I can clear that uh, message. In some cars, there's like annoying message all the time, keep bugging me that battery is low. But all right, so it was somewhat low, I mean, low consumption in the beginning, but towards the end, I speed it up a bit. Uh, so we have 5%, oh, what the heck? There we have 5% left, so now I will juice up to 100% and see 
like how many kilowatt hour the the charger reports to be giving me and then we will run it down to almost zero again and see how many kilowatt hours we actually consume yes oh yes we are juicing up now and those uh, fossils uh, they are so noisy we need to get tesla semis in europe but the show here uh -huh, uh, there, there. Yes, 200 amp. Wow, okay, the voltage is somewhat low. <laughs> I found out that uh, the voltage design in iPace goes from 400 to 450, whereas most other EVs go from 350 to 400. Same with Tesla, Leaf, Soul, Ionic, all the other cars, they have 350. Oh, well, okay, except, only exception is... Um, uh, e-golf which goes from uh, 300 to 350 again lower so the advantage of having higher voltage is that uh, you get faster charging speed from those 50 kilowatt fast chargers and also probably from this one because i believe if you plug a kona or nero in here you won't get 77 kilowatt because you see you will get 200 amp uh you will get 72 kilowatt or 70 to 72 this one peaks at 82 or something so um that's cool you know like why didn't other car manufacturer also design the battery pack to have slightly higher voltage that 10 percent higher voltage is really nice well actually is it 10 percent yeah roughly 10 percent right uh, no i think it's more yeah, I just, um let's let's do some uh, asian crazy asian math here so let's say that um if you assume top voltage 450 450 divided by 400 okay yeah okay it's 10 10 12 percent 12 percent higher than roughly yeah all right so uh, we will juice up here it will take one and a half hours roughly yeah uh, for the day circle k is open today uh, last night uh, i came so late that they close so let's grab some food and then just let's let the car hang out here and juice up. Uh, what the heck? Charging error. I wonder if maybe... Uh, did I accidentally, like, unlock? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, let's restart then. Uh, what the heck? Uh, so I went to the gas station, right? To get some food. And then when I come back, another charging error so um this is really weird it worked flawlessly yesterday and now we're getting charging errors here hmm let's change stalls all right we are juicing up again uh, let's see if this one bugs then uh, all right but let's have some food so, oh, I've been eating too much crap food on this trip because I couldn't choose uh, stores were closed. But at least this time I went for veggie burger from Circle K. Oh yes, let's test it. Oh, this looks better than the ones I tried in Norway. Hmm. Hmm. No. Tastes good. Yeah. Hmm. I like it. Mmm, mmm. Oh, we've been stuck here almost two hours and uh, the charger is... I'm getting like... Well, we can check it out outside by the way. Yeah, let's go check it out. So you see, it's been... It's been stuck here at 100% for the longest time, just like Tesla. So earlier I claimed that there was like a top buffer, but it seems like the BMS was just playing tricks with me. Because now... This is oh, no, no. this is just like a Tesla. Towards the end, it will charge very slowly. So uh, that was weird because yesterday when I charged to 100%, it stopped with 20. Like while starting, I mean while charging at 20 kilowatt, it stopped. But now <laughs> we're charging at what two kilowatt. Yeah. So I'm too lazy. It's already eight minutes past midnight. So. Let's just stop here and then uh, we have a good enough measurement. We can start driving. All right, so we are here in the Rode Crew and uh, we will aim for this location. What is it called again? 
uh, there. Magnus Way. This uh, is a gas station. I don't remember, I think it was Circle K or something. But uh, that one is 341 kilometers. That's a little over 200 miles. I never not done those distances before in an eye pace. But I believe we can make it there because we have lots of tailwind. See? Uh, how much is this? 14 knots. So we'll have tailwind most of the route and then it will be some side wind. Yeah. So, um, well, <laughs> the gum is way off now because we've been driving on autobahn. So it's just 246 kilometers. Uh, it will get more than that. The supercharger in Lodde Chopping but we are not charging at the supercharger. So we are charging at the clever uh, charging station. There is also E1 over there, but uh, I tried the app, but for some reason it didn't, didn't show up here. So uh, whatever. And the problem with the clever, uh, like uh, the pricing on the clever is really high. We are talking about seven nook per kilowatt hour. I want to go to Fortum Charger, but over there I only pay 2.25 nook per kilowatt hour. And then the supercharger is all empty, so uh, yeah, I wish I could use those right now. But if you look here, okay, let me show you. Uh, when I plugged in, I had 10%. So I'll arrive with 10%. So we consume 90% on the trip, all right? And um, if we do the quick math on these numbers, uh, 214 watt hour per kilometer, that is really low, but I've been driving with a hat and we also had some tailwind and you see that uh, 340 kilometers, so on a good day um, yeah, I guess you could do about 350 but based on these numbers uh, we have 80.8 80 .8 kilowatt hours available, estimated, yeah I mean the closer to zero I go the more correct it'll be. So, uh, some people they claim that uh, this car has, you know, but well, I also claim, I, mean, I heard it before, 84.7 kilowatt hour, but it turns out that it's not that much. It's just, I guess, according to my calculation, 80.8. Yeah. So, now we have to get enough juice to go to uh, Falkenberg. Let's see. I think I have saved it in one of these. Uh, uh, okay, navigation. Wait, do you have to cancel that one? No. Okay, go here. Your destination. Recent. Uh, now the problem, I, what I don't like about this one is that, okay, it shows you, like, the location on the map. That's, uh, that's good, but it doesn't show you which city or whatever it is. So I had to guess maybe... Yeah, this looks like Falkenberg and also the distance. Uh, yeah, yeah, Falkenberg, yes, yes, that's it. That's the one. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. So now we have to juice up enough to get there. 150 kilometers to Falkenberg. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? There. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me see. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Okay, we are almost good to go, but um, no, I did some quick math and uh, this is pretty impressive. Let me explain. Okay, 54%, right? 
um, that means we have we have gained 44 percent and then based on what we know about available energy in the car we have we have added 35.5 kilowatt hours okay and normally okay it's 35.5 normally there's about 10 percent loss from the charger to the car in other cars like leaf ionic uh, kona well, okay i haven't measured kona in like but at least it's the smaller car right 10 percent loss so i said the, the <laughs> Okay, uh, the camera round off here, right? but uh, you see, uh, 35 kilowatt hour, 35.5 has been reported from the charger, right? And then we estimated inside the car that we received 35.5. Uh, there can be some round off error, but seems like um, this car has very little um, loss. Yeah, um, I noticed something else when I was charging at the Ionity charger which is that um, at like high speed, you know, uh, 80, 70 to 80 kilowatt over a pretty long time, uh, the fans didn't start until like after 45 minutes or yeah, you see, the fans are, are not running now. Um, in a Tesla, usually if we charge, fast charge, well, okay, slightly a higher speed, but still, uh, the fans will usually start after 10 minutes uh, so I suspect that um, the battery pack they use for uh, iPace has lower internal resistance this is of course just a theory but hmm so I mean <laughs> it's and also you know, I mentioned before that this battery pack has 400 to 450 volt uh, design so um Another thing we notice here is we can calculate charging speed, right? And normally you will get about 45 kilowatts, especially for, from low, like low state of charge. Here we can estimate, all right, let's do here, let me see. Um, yeah, 36.8, okay, so what you have to do is you take 36.8 kilowatt hours divided by uh, 44 and a half minutes times 60, all right? And then you get, you see, almost 50 kilowatt because the voltage on this pack is so high so we actually get 50 kilowatts out of this charger which is maximum but if you charge a leaf or even ionic here you will, you won't get 50 kilowatt you will get 45 46 kilowatts and then eventually you might see 48 towards the end so um i'm i'm impressed now of um the ipace how they did things but <laughs> what is not so impressive is the um, is the consumption so uh, I mean they have this door hand that's kind of goes in similar to Tesla you know to, to reduce drag but if you look in the front here okay they designed this this opening here uh, it's actually an opening and the, the air will go through here and then exit here oh sorry exit here uh, I think it's to include drag because they want to keep that that masculine uh, uh, Jaguar look but this thing here looks like it doesn't look very aerodynamic oh it's so windy outside so I mean I agree that this car looks pretty cool but it seems like they they chose to design it beautifully rather than like like Ionic or Kona or even Nero, where okay, the front might be ugly, but at least it's very aerodynamic. Oh, it's cold, oh, it's cold, but <laughs> I'm shaking now. So, I will unplug this freaking expensive juice here. We have enough, so let's get the heck out of here <laughs> with the Falcon bike. Woo, woo.
we are now in uh, Falkenberg. Oof, I was so tired when I arrived here. So I plug in, started the charger, and took a nap. So I cover most of the windows. You see there, up there. And then I passed out. Uh, I think I arrived with 5%, and now I have 93%. So uh, the car is good to go, but oh, I need to take some more naps. So let's move. Yeah, I can move the car a bit. Maybe um, so I can move it to that spot, or, uh, or maybe over there. Hmm. Okay, I have to I have to move some cover, but let's move it. All right, I had to get some breakfast. You know, most places during my trip, I just had crap food, but here at the gas station here, what's it called again? Prem, right? They have salad. Oh yes, look. So finally some healthy food salad and orange juice. Oh yes. This is probably good stuff. Let's taste it. Ooh, I feel like having some juice. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. Oh yeah. Now it's a bit weird because ooh, the car is charging 94% and I'm just sitting here doing nothing. So I'm I'm not in sync with the car. Normally I would be eating, but I had to get that nap. I was so tired. So, um, yeah, this is not very efficient time-wise. Mm, but I need food. Oh, yeah. Mm. We are now at the Tarnum shopping mall and here we have three fast chargers. Ooh, uh, ooh, not they have uh, Chadmo and CCS but also type 2. Not too bad and they are open and free. So for the customers. Yeah, okay, so um yeah, I, I had to park at this because I explained earlier the, the, the charge port is over there. So it's like I parked like a douchebag because I got the jab. Oh yeah. Hmm. So what? You know, why is it always that sculptures, they have to, they have to look pervert. Look at that. It's like, well, okay, if you, if you see it like this, it looks like his penis is poking out. He has a he has a boner. <laughs> okay, but uh, this is a shopping mall. Uh, actually, it's a bit crowded. I didn't know it was that crowded. So I guess I'll go inside. Well, uh, I'm charging now. Uh, let's check it out. I have to stay here for a while. Let's have to juice up. Um, Problem is for ha? Huh? What? It says problem with the vehicle. Shit! It stopped for some reason. I don't know. It, it keep randomly stopping. Like just just same thing that happened with um in, in Rode Crew. So 
I think we can un unlock, right? And then unplug. And then plug it in again. And then... Right. Okay, let me see. These are like very common for... Uh, I mean, we use this in Norway. CCS, all right? Uh, Fortum uses this. And I haven't had any problem with the, with these types of chargers. Uh, the, the tritium chargers, they tend to be troublesome. Okay, now it starts again. Huh. All right. Is it the charger or is it the car that is bugging? Hmm, not sure. I mean, if it's too much trouble and I can always uh, move to, a, to one of the other chargers. It's not like there will be a surge of uh, people coming to charge here. Anyway, but okay, so we arrive at 8%. Let me fire up the jack. Okay, he has to boot up every time. Da -da -da -da. Uh, boot sequence. Da -da -da. Checking RAM. Operating system. Almost up and running. It takes a while because now if you want to look at state of charge, you see? Okay, now this, this time it was faster. Sometimes I have to like wait until it's up and running. Uh, all right, uh, let's uh, juice up then. We are now at Megajul in Fredrikstad. They have one store in Oslo and one store in Fredrikstad. Yeah, it's called Torp around here, but it's basically the same. So I had to visit uh, the, the owner here of uh, Megajul. I mean, it's thanks to him that I was able to borrow the eye paste because uh, he talked to um, uh, the, um, the store manager at Bilbutik uh, Ian and said that, you know, you have to lend the eye paste to Tesla Bjorn. And he was like, well, the, the manager is also named Bjorn. And he was like, Tesla who? who? And then he explained, no, this guy is a YouTuber. Every time there's a freaking fossil, these motorcycles. Shit. Okay, anyway, where are I? Yeah, so thanks to him, you know, thanks to Mega Yule, I was able to borrow this car. And they were also so cool, uh, Bilbetik N, to let me drive it to Germany. <laughs> so I did call some of the other. Um, um, dealerships you know around Oslo like okay, where is it again uh, motor pool and uh, uh, some of the other one uh, was it called insignia I asked them they can I borrow one I'm a YouTube blogger and they'd be like Bjorn who so I'm like oh, too bad for you guys you don't get the uh, PR like Bilbert again so kudos to them they have this uh, sticker here you see uh, you probably notice that also yeah Bilbert again they sell obviously they sell Jags yeah, in uh, Salzburg. Oh, there. So, okay, let me find uh, the people. Oh, oh, the there was an. I was gonna show. There was an an e pace over here, uh, a fossil. Uh, the i pace looks way cooler than the the e pace. But oh well, uh, let's find room. So we have a guy here uh, taking some photos of the car. I think they're gonna. Well, they Photoshop it a bit, and they will use this. Uh, maybe I should lock there. I just got lost the. Uh, but they don't talk anything. Right. So um, I think they will use these uh, pictures in the web shop or whatever. Yeah, they sell rims and, and tires. Yeah.
we are now back at Bilbetyk Inn in Salzburg. So, yes, this will be the end of the trip. So what should I say about the eye pace? Okay, and the first really short video I had earlier, then I was, I mean, many people thought I was negative. Well, yes, I was somewhat negative with the findings, but now after I spent a lot of time with the car on a proper road trip, I found out, you know, it's a really nice place to be in. I mean, if you want to drive far, then you want to be, I mean, you want to sit comfortably. The seats are great. Yes, they can adjust in almost every direction that I didn't even knew, knew existed. And also the interior build quality is just perfect. Like, I wish I had this interior in the Tesla, okay? It's a little bit cramped, uh, that's one problem. Uh, the consumption is also a little bit high, so um, yeah. I hope they can fix it with a software update. Uh, I'm not sure if it's only the drag. Uh, yeah, so that's. But you know, as as long as you have the support of the the, the ultra fast charger or whatever, you know, then it will also work on long trips. Even for me, it kind of worked now, but it was a little bit painful. So once you get those fast chargers up and running from Ionity and Fortem and all the other uh, networks up there, then you know it will it will still be good. So, and also the lights, the headlights are amazing. I love them. Also, stuff like I wish was in my Tesla. Uh, but as for the infotainment system, two small screen. Uh, personally, I, I think they should have made it uh, a vertical screen or rather than this very wide angle, like horizontal screen. So, clumsy system, but you know, there's upsides and downsides with this car, but Overall, I'm pretty pleased with this car and I will also test it again next week, another car. So, yes, more videos to come, banana test, all that, yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's like, would, should you buy this car, the I-Pace versus Tesla? Mm, it depends on your need, you know. If you need lots of space, then you should go for a Tesla. If, if you need a good charging network already today, then you have to go for Tesla. But if you're tired of waiting for repairs at Tesla, or if you can't stand the panel gaps and the crappy interior in the Tesla, then yes, you should consider this car. So, yeah. I think that will be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this road trip video. Oh yes, so talk to you later.